Hi. I brought Madison with me yeah. this time. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. The late night team didn't have a, a lot of faith in him anymore, so they That's added not true. a little bit. No, it's no, it's fine. You can admit it. That's not true. <laughs> We're maybe going to go a different direction. That's not. <laughs> According to the Northwest music scene, the band KISS delivered a monster performance at the Tacoma Dome. Everybody in the packed house finishing rock and roll all night. And they went home, put the kids to sleep, and were in bed by 9.30. <laughs> Jeff Bezos is accusing the National Enquirer of blackmail after they tried to publish nude pictures of him. But here's my question. Who really wants to see Jeff Bezos naked? No, no, I'll just answer that for you. Absolutely no one. And certainly not his wife, because I'm fairly positive that's why she's divorcing him. Or maybe it's because he was sending all these nudes in the first place. But either way, I think it's safe to say that Bezos has taken this whole sending packages to people thing a little too far. Somebody decided to write an article called Tacoma Gets Discovered Again because people are moving here. I feel like you can't say something has been discovered again when people have been living here the whole time. But then again, that is how the United States of America got started. Tacoma Community College is starting marijuana-themed classes. <laughs> However, considering all of their financial struggles, I'm not sure that copying Evergreen College's curriculum is the best idea. <laughs> Some people think that classes on drugs are stupid and a waste of time, but that is how we get doctors. Then again, apparently some people think that doctors are stupid and a waste of time as well. Is that too real? No, is that really real. Yeah. yeah. Measles. <laughs> there was a lot of snow on campus <laughs> <laughs> this month. Students had fun playing in the snow, and I watched this out of my own window in South. A PLU student stood on top of a six-foot ball of snow and yelled, Snow is my vocation! And snow is a very powerful vocation because that vocation can stop everyone else from learning about theirs. Uh, not everybody likes snow, though. As a woman attacked people who threw snowballs at her by driving her Jeep at them. First off, don't ever throw snowballs at a car with off-roading capabilities. <laughs> But apparently some kids didn't learn a valuable lesson from the office by starting a snowball fight when they aren't prepared for the consequences. And I'm not entirely sure what this woman was thinking, but if she had successfully run them over, Netflix probably would have made a documentary about her. <laughs> so if anyone from UPS tries to tell you that they're better than us, just remind them that their most notable alum is Ted Bundy. <laughs> but this part is super true. <laughs> That's what happens when the loggers' sports rallying cry is hack, hack, chop, chop. <laughs> that is literally That's a real, that's, that's so actually what real. it is. Google it's... it, everyone. <laughs> Netflix has them to think. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough people got the office reference. I'm a little disappointed. No, that was really bad. <laughs> On another <laughs> reference note, our floor manager is named Elsa. Give it up for Elsa, everybody. Yeah. And she was actually in Chicago during that polar vortex when they experienced record low temperatures. And whilst there, Elsa got arrested. Yeah, check out this photo of it. <laughs> because of Frozen. <laughs> That was a plug, you know, because the second one's coming out. Who's excited? That's where that joke ends. <laughs> a man is suing his parents for giving birth to him without his consent. The only caveat is, is that his parents are both lawyers. 
that's like telling a professor, one of your professors that they misinterpreted the text knowing full well that they're the ones who wrote it. <laughs> Representing the man in court will be his father's ex-girlfriend, Mindy, because at least she knew how to use birth control. <laughs> President Trump repeats his call for an investigation into Saturday Night Live. This is real because the TV show makes fun of him. But wait a minute. We've made fun of him. If you're out there, if you're listening, Donnie, please, please, please investigate us. Do you have any idea what that would do for our ratings? We don't even have ratings. We're we're on YouTube. <laughs>